scammers targeting ATMs in Charlotte. Now a major bank warns customers to rethink how they make payments. Good evening, I'm Brian Blakely. Hey, good evening, I'm Alicia Barnes. Wells Fargo is just one of the banks where police found skimmers installed on ATMs. Queen City News anchor Casey Jones is live tonight from Plaza Midwood. So Casey, fill us in on what's going on here. All right, so, so far there have been at least two skimming devices found on ATM machines in Charlotte. One in Northwest Charlotte at a credit union, the other right in Uptown Charlotte at the Wells Fargo headquarters. I reached out to Wells Fargo to ask how many victims and how many skimmers. They said they couldn't tell me, but I spoke to a woman who was at this ATM and believes it's the reason she got hit. Skimmers spotted on multiple ATMs in Charlotte, including this Wells Fargo machine on Tryon Street in Uptown. The police report shows officers seized an SD card and a flat metal item with wires and circuit boards connected to a phone battery. Investigators say they also found a device on Cool Oak Drive at the state employees credit union where thieves were caught on camera installing the devices. Crime Stoppers posting this tweet, warning about multiple cases in the Queen City. Alexa Gidney says that's when she connected the dots. They got me good and it's affecting me pretty hard. Gidney says she recently visited this ATM on Central Avenue in Plaza Midwood. She walked up and deposited cash. A week later, she says her account showed a withdrawal for more than $300 at the same location. Then an $83 transaction right down the street at a local bar was blocked and Wells Fargo called to alert. I still physically have my card, so there's no way that was me, you know, making those withdrawals. Um, so yeah, it was it was pretty upsetting. The FBI says the skimming devices fit over the original card reader, storing data scammers download and make into fake cards later. The devices sold on the dark web sometimes look like this. As police continue the search for the swindlers, Gidney is thankful the bank flagged the fraud. Be careful with inserting their card anywhere, even, you know, at a gas station. Um, you know, just use Apple Pay if you can. Yeah, the good news here is that uh, those scammers were caught on camera, so hopefully someone will recognize them. Now, Gidney, the victim that you just heard from, says she didn't initially report this claim to police because Wells Fargo had already launched an investigation. But police encourage her to do a report anyway because that helps them gather more evidence about these suspects. So if you think you may have been a victim, call police. And Wells Fargo, tonight they are encouraging you to consider tap to pay or other contactless payment options. Reporting live in Plaza Midwood, Casey Jones, Queen City News.